Yo, all right, fellow YouTubers, Caleb Craig, Deadpool Toys with Two, here to bring you a review of my new place. Not really a review, more of a uh, collection update. I finally moved the where I moved. I'll give you a clue. I'm not gonna tell you the actual address, but where I moved, the blizzard really affected me. So I was postponed a week, and I'm about to start working, but I was still able to get my collection up. So now let's do a tour, and you can see my collection now. So we are actually going to start off in the kitchen where Deadpool Toys One Two eats. Here you can see on top of the refrigerator, we have an Indiana Jones that talks. That's why they call it the jungle, sweetheart. <laughs> why they call it the jungle, sweetheart? We have a BB-8 and the Rock Pop figure. Those are the only two I have. I want to get them if I really like the character. There's a little Thor bobblehead, Shadow Scout, Comic-Con exclusive. See here at the top, we have the Kingdom Hearts and Sorry. I still got to do a review on the Cyborg, haven't it? There's Shazam, Superman, Black Adam, Satana. I haven't done a review on her yet. Deathstroke, Bizarro. Harley Quinn, I think it was his name. Ah, oh, come on, Caleb. Aquaman and Green Lantern, pretty cool. Here at the bottom, we have some Marvel Cups, very cool. At the top here, I still have some Marvel Legends that have not been opened yet. And there's Magneto, Punisher, Wolverine. That 12-inch Captain Phasma, I love it. Thank you guys for watching it and your support. Shazam, Superman, DC Icons, I still gotta get Superman. I can't even to come out. Supergirl, I haven't opened her yet. And I still have to do a review on this. Very glad I was able to find this because I really wanted that Harley Quinn. I almost forgot I love these. I got these at sale at a FYE that was closing. A Venom cup and a Deadpool cup. <laughs> Deadpool! Also, I cannot wait for that movie to come out. Now we get into some stuff I have. This is really cool. I actually got this out of the cereal box. Yeah, poster. Still on the back. Toast and Crunch, Tricks, Reese's Puff. I can't remember, may the fourth be with you. But I thought this was awesome and I kept it. And I still got to hang that up. Pretty cool. That's me when I graduated from college. Yep, awesome. Sweat. Now, back to the toys. Here we have the electric Millennium Falco, and here we have the older one, but still very cool. It actually have more stuff still attached to this one. There's like little chairs in there. So that's a cannon and a satellite. So I still have to do a review and a comparison on those. I haven't got the new one yet. And some fruit and water. I like room temperature water and cold water, so I have both. Here it is Plus Yoda, just chilling. Yes, he does talk. Here's some posters I have that I still have to put up. So what did a drawing of me, kind of funny. Here we also have the showdown between Destiny Gundam and the Strike Freedom Gundam. And they were throwing this away. And I asked the dude if I could have it and he said, yeah. And here we have my Buzz Lightyear poster from Toy Story. Here you can see I have my tumbler and my custom tumbler. Both still have the Batmans on the inside. Here's both my paw racers, which I really enjoy. I thought they were cool, so I bought both of them. And there is Kid Anakin, pretty cool. There's my phone charger. Here you can see some Call of Duty Google, not Google, just glasses to uh, play. Anyway, we also have Superman. I never opened him. I really thought that was a nice figure. I don't really see the reason to get the new one yet. Here's my Christopher Reeve Superman. Love him. Looks just like him. They did an awesome job. And he was hard to get. Sad Sack Boy. My Kratos statue. There's SH Figure Arts Goku. There's my Vegito. There's Piccolo. And there's Scarlet Spider. I don't know if any of you guys longboard, but I longboard, so... I have a trick one and a cruiser one, so I thought they were pretty cool. Here you can see we get over here. I have some Marvel Legends I haven't opened yet. There's the Optimus Prime. Behind him, I actually didn't know I had him hidden, but there is my Itachi. Love my Itachi in the background. Hasn't been opened. I did used to watch wrestling, so I do have Triple H and a Rock and Kurt Angle. Pretty cool. There's Devil Gundam, Dark Gundam, whatever you want to call it. There's my Halo figures. Uh, Soldier had a good point. Someone could make a custom Luke Cage with the head of that figure. As we go down, just a stand, I think it came with Gambit, there's Boom Psyche, MSIA, Gundam Wing, and G Gundam figures, a few of them. And here at the bottom are the rest of them, the rest of G Gundam. I love that series, and there's Gundam Wing, and let's waltz over here in the background. Really cool, and at the bottom we just have Mummy Gundam and SD Gundam. Here at the top there's my Darth Vader having opened from the Power of the Force. I thought it was a cool figure. And as you can see here, there's a whole bunch of Jack Specific figures. I love these because they did a great paint job on Goten and Trunks. There is my Mecha Frieza. I love him to death. Awesome kid Goku from GT. Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Gogeta. Never got Vegeta. I have to find Super Saiyan 4. And there's the huge SS4 Gogeta. Glad I said we get him. My Gunpla. Here we have my Gundam Wing Endless Waltz. My gigantic Burning Gundam. Some Marvel Select Iron Man and War Machines. There's Walt Gundam. And this is what I have right now. There's the Toys R Us exclusive. Snow Trooper, very cool. I love the first order Stormtroopers. I love the look. They to me they look better than the old than the older ones. There's my Kylo Ren. Awesome, very epic figure. 
Here is my Ray and BB-8, and there's Finn. Looking awesome. Of course I'm going to have them right beside each other. This is the best Optimus Prime figure to me. I love the guns he has, how he can transform um, his different things to weapons. I thought he was very cool, and he was easy to transform. So I love this figure. Here on the second shelf, I have my Boba Fett, a few more Watto, a few more uh, Episode 1 figures. A lot of people didn't like these, but I actually kind of like them. I love how with the Mace Windu, they didn't know what color his lightsaber was going to be, even though it's purple, and they gave him a blue one. And there is my General Grievous. I actually have two of those. And here in the background is uh, Prince Amadella, Queen Amadella. Anyway, in the background, my Elite Series. I didn't take them out of the box yet, so I just set them up back here. Here's my Captain Phasma, my Flame Trooper. I love the look they gave him. And the best looking uh, Podam Podameron as far as figures go. I couldn't really get the uh, two-pack Podameron because my uh, Storm Trooper was always messed up or whatever. Here's the Turn A Gundam. Uh, Gunpla, I built that one. There's Grimoire. He was a fun build. Also loved the G-Self. Very nice. Gundam Double X. He was a fun build. I need to open up his gold... Uh, parts he can charge up his uh, beam. There is Zeta Gundam in the background, real great. One of the most frustrating builds ever. I'm surprised it's standing. Crossbone Gundam Custom. There's Gundam Ashtray. One of my favorites is the Strike Freedom Destiny Full Burst Mode Gundam. There it is. I love that one. I can't remember, GF01 Gundam? I think I'm saying it right. This one was a fun build. It's my first real great. It took a long time. This one is awesome. When I built Gundam Barbados, wow. Uh, I put pearl white on there. I still got to do the black Gundam marker, and then that should be it. But this was a very fun build. That uh, yellow does need some black in there. And here's my strike build Gundam from the show. I still have to do the lines on the top there, but that came out very nice. And here's, I can't remember, 12-inch Anakin or whatever, but he's really cool. Oh, snap, I almost forgot. Back here is the DC Collectibles Flash and the DC Collectibles Arrows. I love those shows. I'm behind on the Arrows, so I got to catch up on it. Here we have the Talking Cyber from like 1994, really old, so I haven't got the new one. Uh, I didn't have the money for it yet, but I'm going to get it. But now I got to wait even longer because I'm going to get the Thunder Megazord Legacy. I can't wait for that. Harley Quinn, Arkham Knight, Batman, got to love it. Man, awesome figures, a lot of detail in them. Uh, except for, I wish the Batman, they made him too skinny, he should have been a little bigger. Barricade from an older Transformers movie, I've had him for a long time. Here's my Power Rangers blaster. Now we get into the fun shelf. Here we have, I have three Wolverines, two masks and one unmasked, very cool. Here's my custom Deadpool, love him, awesome figure. I think they used the Bucky Cat mold for him. There's Miles Morales. There's a Deadpool I got from China, so I don't even know if he's real. There's Beast, Extremist Iron Man. Blade, very nice figure. When I say they, that is the perfect uh, movie adaptation figure. It looks to me just like how he did in the movie. There's Mr. Reed, there's Apocalypse, there's Thanos, there's, uh, I can't think, Mark 42 I, Iron Man, Heroic Age Iron Man, you know, even though, you know, that's the same one that they included in the Guardians of the Galaxy, they could have used a little bit of a different sculpt. There is my Naruto, he doesn't fit in here at all, but I haven't really made a anime shelf yet. There's Iron Patriot, this is the War Machine I like. That's the best design that I like. So I'm glad that in in the new Civil War, they made him more bulky again. There's my Deadpool from Marvel Select. Looking very good. There's my Trunks. I haven't opened him. I love him. I thought it was a great look. I was glad I was able to get him. I wish I would have got more movie collections when they were out and they didn't cost as much. There's my Optimus Prime. He should still work. Let me see. Yep, he still works. I love that trans trans. Former. It was pretty awesome. In the back is my side close with Loki. I need to. I wish I could change out his head for the new one from the movies. There's my Batman and Superman that I have out of the box. And there's Apocalypse. I love that figure. Very epic. Great paint job. There we have Doctor Strange. You see my Black Panther. And there is my uh, Marvel Universe Silver Surfer. Still need to paint him. So very cool. We go down to the next shelf in here. I didn't think I was going to like this figure that much. But Anti-Venom, I loved him. Carnage, I loved him. I did like my um, Agent Venom, though it took me a long time to find him. Super Superior Spider-Man was really fun. I loved that one. I did really like this Spider-Man. And then out of nowhere, they came out with this one. And I was like, wow, I love it. Daredevil was awesome. So was the 2099. All the detail they put into the, um, I would say Doctor Strange. Because, well, they don't really look that much. Doc, not, oh, what's his name? Craven, Craven, Craven. 
Nova, they made him diff like really like different. He's really shiny. I put him back because I knew he would still stand out. I actually did like the uh, Winter Soldier they made. I thought it was cool to me. Captain Amer Captain America, this was the first figure I had of him, and I thought he was kind of cool. I love the Black Widow Scarlett Johansson with this type of hair. I thought this was a really cool figure, and I was glad I was able to find her. And I was able to complete that figure. I got one of their soldiers. This is what's really cool. There's my Doctor Strange, but the Guardians of the Galaxy. Gotta love it. There's my Ghost Rider. And there is uh, Red Skull in the background. Ant-Man, dang, y'all should have had his face covered. Here is the twin of this figure. So your twin is literally right here. There is a onslaught Cyclops, I think, if I'm wrong. Sorry, don't patronize me in the freaking comments. I make mistakes. Baron Zemo, very awesome. There's Nightcrawler from X2. I love that figure. Glad I was able to find it and still have it. Iron Fist. I love these colors. This actually was a really fun figure, and I'm glad they included all of the extra hands. There is a um, black cat. It was a little hard to stand, but I love the concept of what they did. Very nice figure. Century, I love him. The closest to Superman to me in the Marvel Universe. I love that Hulk because I actually have a Hulk, but the Hulk I have was this was not like one from the movie. So, you know, at least now I have one from the movie. So I thought that was cool. This was just a unique figure. I looked up the Wrecking Crew, but this figure was so unique I had to get it. And I love Thor and there's his hammer. Pretty awesome. Looking to the side here, I do still like my boxes. So there's the white Tiger Zord. We also have the Dragon Zord, and I'll show y'all the actual figures in a minute. And still, I have my Dragon Dagger still in the box. Really cool. I love that. And at the end, there's the Box 40 Legacy Dragon Zord. Now, we go on right here. And as you can see, it is my SH Figure Arts Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Gotta love them. I had to get them all. To me, the best paint job on these was the White Ranger because you see how they gave him like that metallic gold look. I really did like the Green Ranger. Green Ranger. Don't get me wrong, awesome, awesome. He is really cool. But I love the design of the White Ranger when he came out. I thought the gold and black and white looked really good. But here we gave the Red Ranger the sun, the uh, spot, not the sunlight, but the spotlight for the blaster. Very cool. Over here, I did love Kike, very nice, and I did love Hit Girl. She was awesome. She was so cool in the second movie and the first, but I have their figures, and I have Crimson Typhoon. Uh, NECA, you did an awesome job on these figures, except for Gypsy Danger. I literally bought three of these, and the arm would break off or something, so I had to take them back. And a little sword that they had for him and for... Um, I can't remember his name for a striker Eureka. Those would break so easily. So that's why I just took them off to be safe. This one was also very unique and very cool. I do like that. So all of these were cool. I'm glad they re-brought them out, but don't wait so long to release the Kaiju. Like literally these things were coming out like two years later. I'm like, why did y'all wait so long? But hey, I don't understand. They could have to do stuff with movies, whatever. Here's my uh, Robocop with the jetpack. Love him. Looks very cool. I love how they did the shading on him. Here's the one that's normal. And there's my one that glows in the dark. Very glad I picked him up. He was that figure that no one bought for like a year straight at Toys R Us. And he just sat on the shelf. And I bought him when he came down. There's my Black Series Darth Vader. Love that figure. And my Darth Series Boba Fett. Very cool. We are the mummies. Here are my mummy figures. They're very awesome, very cool. And here I do actually have the Green Ranger that goes with the Dragon Sword. Though I had to paint that because a guy gave it to me for free, but it was faded by the sunlight, so I painted that gold. But very nice. Here at the bottom is what is close to me, and I love it, is the Thunder Megazord. I literally wanted this when I was a kid, but I never had the money to get it, and I really love the Red Dragon Zord. So I was able to get this um, three or four weeks ago. Thank you for all the views on that uh, video, but it's very cool. I can't wait to get the new one. And here we have the White Tiger Zord. I will combine this to actually put with my Legacy Dragon Zord. And no, 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 with my Legacy Megazord. So I have this one. This one actually came out, but this one was really cheap and it's all plastic. There's no metal in it. And I think I got this for like 34 bucks online. So that's before Legacy really took off and was really expensive. But anyway, here we have the Dragon Zord. I have the old Falcon Zord. I love this one. I still wish they would actually had it where you could light up the uh, wings on the end. That would have been cool. And here's the Ultra Mega Zord. I think I'm messing up the name, but very cool. The old-fashioned one. 
Here you see the Titanus, the Megazord, and you see all of, all of them attached, which is really cool. I do like that this one actually can light up, but this one does not light up. But past that, it's really cool, and they did do an awesome job on the tail for him. And to me, he would have been perfect, but I still would have liked for him to light up. But past that, awesome collection, awesome figures. Most likely, this is where I'll be chilling, watching videos, making videos, and doing a lot of different stuff. I do try to get a little workout in. Even though where I'm staying, they do have a gym. I have to check that out. Yeah. But also, here's my pet hamster. He is sleep. That is all he does is sleep. I have a very huge Spider-Man vs. Hulk Winter Olympics edition. Very cool. Now, here for the entertainment system. First of all, I have this, which is very cool. An unofficial guide of everything Dragon Ball Z. And everything in GT's in there, too. Some movies I like to watch and a few games. I had to learn quite quickly that you do not trade in your PS4 games. So now I'm learning to actually keep them instead of only getting a few dollars. And there's a few PlayStation games. Here is my Kylo Ren lightsaber Disney exclusive and my Obi-Wan Kenobi Ultimate FX. Man, I just love the design of this lightsaber. I wish I would have been able to get the Force FX one, but that thing was too much online. Here at the bottom, I actually have two PS2s because sometimes, you know, the games will work on one of them, but not on the other. And there's my modem. I love you, modem or router or gateway, whatever they call it. There's my baby, my PS4. That's Bay for now. Here we have a really cool car I got a long time ago in a dirty Santa. I kept it. And there's my Wonder Woman and Armored Batman that will not stand, but whatever. He still looks really cool. And there is my R2-D2. There is one of the Titanium series, Black series, uh, Jocky Landspeeder. I haven't put them out yet. And here I have a pile of comics behind here. I might do a video. Let me know if y'all want to know what comics I read, or if you don't, then they'll just stay there. Whatever. And here we have my TV that I play all my games on, all my systems. I love my Vita, got my Game Boy Color, and my Nintendo 3DS, and there's my PSP to play old Gundam games. And this is what's really cool. Here we have the rest of my Force Effects lightsabers, except for my Q going, he's Ultimate Effects. But my favorite one right there is the Mace Windu. Very nicely done. Love how the gold, silver, and black came out. There's the Luke Skywalker one. Love how that one came out too. My Darth Maul that's, that will connect. There's uh, part of both of them. There's my Darth Vader. And here is my uh, Anakin Skywalker. And there's Yoda in the middle. So those are my force effects. I do love them. So very cool. And this is pretty much my collection for now. I do have a lot of stuff that's still in the box, but I don't feel like really taking it out right now. You guys, it's been really rough from the blizzard and having to move and get ready for work and deal with all that stuff and paperwork and knowing where to go and learning my way around the city. So I've been doing it a lot. But I'm glad that I, this took like a whole... Not a whole day, like it's been like six hours to set up most of this stuff and get a lot of this stuff out. But I wanted to set it up before I started to work. But yeah, this is pretty much uh, my place. This is how I have things set up. And this is Caleb Craig Depot Toys from 2. Hope you enjoyed my little collection video and leave any comments or questions. If you saw anything that you want me to do a review on, just let me know and I will do my best. I'll talk. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. I'm going to do a review on this. My Supreme Darth Vader Edition Mask. Really cool. Right here. I love it. So I'm going to do a review on that too. But yeah, this has been Kevin Craig Devil Toys with 2. I'll see y'all later. Bye.